Hello, bye. It is Ouroboros Vero, aka Death Kill here. I am here with a hybrid build. I know everybody likes the idea of hybrid builds and uh, talking about hybrid builds. So I chose. I'm here to show you a proper hybrid build. So here I have skill tier four. I have skill tier four with only the memento and the fox's prayers. So we're making the most out of what we have. You could get the skill tier five with the card custom. It is very good. Now you could use the capacitor as a secondary weapon for its extra damage because it does get 7.5% weapon damage for each uh, skill tier you have. So it's pretty nice. You want to use something with InSync to start it off like an SMG. And then we have 1.4 million armor well, but in the next update the holsters gain a buff. So it would have 170 extra armor. So what the build will be looking at is you'll be at 1.6 million once you optimize everything to max. You'll be at 1.6 million. And if you if you optimize it to max, you gotta remember that Defender Jones reducing 25% of damage. So you can see that as a damage reduction, or you can see that as, as you know times in it by your armor. So what you ha I have right now is what well, times it right now by what's it right now, but I'll tell you what it is in the future. So Currently, if you times 1.4, well, if you add 1.4 million plus the 50% from Unbreakable, then you get 2.1 million. But then you times that by 1.4, and what you actually have is 2.6 million and 25,000. So you have 2.7 million in total, which is like basically having 1.8 million armor instead, which is very nice. And if you have the holster instead, right, you have 1.6 million armor instead when you have the when the holster gets its buff. That's why I'm using this holster specifically for two reasons. So when you have 1.6 armor, you have 2.4 million, and then you times 2.4 million by 1.25, and then you get exactly 3 million. So you will have 3 million armor because your your your, high, your defender drone is, you know, blocking all that extra damage. So you're basically a, a pretty tanky, and you have 3 red. You know, you got your best in slots right here, right here. And you have any stacks of the mental, like you are farming in here, you will get all the extra weapon damage and all that extra, you know, bonus armor and all that stuff, which is very, very nice. That will make the sticky bomb hit for a million by itself. And so I'm going to show you the build, but this is how you want to run it. I'm using the SMG as my main. You could use it with a capacitor for a secondary if you want. It will do some damage. But the sticky bomb is hitting for 6 uh, 656,000. It's pretty good, but it hits harder because of the in sync. Or if you're using the capacitor, it will give it. A lot, it'll make it hit a lot harder. Also, if you use the the card custom, say you know you're in a bad situation, and you need to run away, you give your defender drone an extra three percent damage reduction, which isn't much, but it could save your life if you're running away from somebody. You know, blocking bullets with the defender drone would be pretty nice. Also, you could also start off with a sticky bomb with it. You know, with the pistol. Because if you look at it, an extra skill tier adds extra 10% damage to it. So it went from 40% extra damage to 50% extra damage. And it increased it by like about 440,000 uh, in damage. So that's why I'm using it in sync, right? So I'm getting an extra 120,000 damage on it. But enough of the build explanation. Uh, you ready to fight, Grunt? Alright, so let me switch to the capacity real quick. Remember, you want to use the sick MPX the most. And so this is what he's running. He's running a meta build. Um, basically, FAMAS, Lady Death, meta build, you know, the same, same thing you see everywhere. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. You hit him with that sticky bomb right there. Just melt him. You see that big ass number right there? That stumble kills people. Especially a stumble that does like 700,000 damage. It absolutely annihilates people. So he had 1.7 million armor. The sticky bomb took off half of his armor. And I still DPS them with... Uh, and yeah, that 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 is uh that is how effective it is. This is how big is the sticky bomb right there. 
if you it's it's kind of hard to miss and sometimes you can hit yourself with it so you gotta be very careful because you see that's a big sticky bomb even if you clip them in the feet it does a lot of damage watch oh well it, it disappeared but um even if you hit them in the feet it does like maybe like half the damage but it's still a very nice uh chunk amount of uh of damage it does you know the stumble is the best part about it right because as soon as he stumbles that's some easy some of the easiest headshots of your life right there that's like some high dps so you could also use it with the capacitor but i don't have any uh, i don't have a fenris chest plate on right now but if you want this you could use the capacitor as your main weapon um once you get max stacks with the capacitor it does a lot more damage than in sync but that's at max stacks all right or uh, any above 20 stacks but instinct gives you that the damage quick. So if you do it properly, right, you get your drone out, you, you shoot him, and then you get your instinct bonus. Boom. And he was at the edge of the circle right there. So at the edge of the circle, it does reduce damage. And it still did basically 685. It is very nasty. You could get a couple team a couple of enemies on it, right? Because a lot of the fights, you know, sometimes they're very close range or in hallways. If you get if you get a team in the hallway and then you tell your teammates like, hey, I'm sticky bombing, they could get ready to start DPSing the shit out of them by you know every every one of them is gonna get a stumble. So you could hit you could hit multiple people with that. Like, look at how big it is, right? It, it's gonna be hard to miss somebody like that. Even if you stick them with it, it's gonna do a lot of damage to everybody around them. Watch, if you actually hit them with it, like it still does the same amount of damage. And everybody around him will get that damage. So I recommend uh, if you could get more than one person with Sticky Mom, it is going to hurt. It is going to hurt a lot. Remember, you want to run this with a healer build for the extra skill damage. Because a healer build, like a future initiative piece, it gives you extra damage, weapon damage, and skill damage. Very nice. With, the, with Empathetic Resolve, you get a 30% bonus. Oh damn, you okay there? You it looks like you're you're leaving. Now, yeah, 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 it looks like you're lagging. Yeah. I mean, no, it looks like you're lagging, man. Like I don't know how you're doing it, but that's amazing. But anyways, so those there, there are a couple counters to this build, right? The biggest counter is people who jam. A bunch of jammers would a night will make your make it tough because if you lose that defender drone and that damage reduction it is going to be pretty tough and then you also don't get uh, the damage from your your sticky bomb all right you ready for another fight uh, make sure you jam me instantly so if you get jammed as long as you could survive the jam duration you could you could probably bring Make a comeback, bro. I don't know what you're doing, but it looks like you're lagging. Oh, we're disconnecting. Yeah, but anyways, before I disconnect, so this is how you want to build the j the the counter to this build is jamming. So if you see this build anywhere, you just jam it, jam it to all damnation. But this build would destroy people in one v ones and maybe one v twos because just being able to stumble people and run away. But that's the build. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm getting disconnected. Have fun in the DC.